So in 2016, then Ambassador David Saperstein, I supported his trip to the Rohingya refugee camps in Bangladesh. Did and you go? I went with him and. How, how, you know, how'd you, how, what'd uh, you see? Uh, how'd yeah, you no, feel? I mean, a lot of questions. I'll here. be very frank about kind of my personal experience. I, my, my family, my parents originally immigrated from Bangladesh and, and I grew up speaking the language. So oh. when I went back in my official capacity supporting the ambassador, I got to hear in the original language. It's different. They speak a different language. It's the Rohingya dialect, but it was similar enough for what I speak at home where I could get maybe 80% of what they were saying. This is my first time to a refugee camp, and oh. it was in 2016. They had just fled a wave of violence at oh. that time. Oh. And I was right there hearing a lot of these descriptions of what happened to people, women, children, for the first time. Like, they had just came across the border, and oh. they were telling, you know, U.S. officials, U.N. officials what had happened to them. And I'm hearing it before even the interpreter gets a chance to say yeah. what they're saying. And so I had a very hard time listening I to this, you know, imagine. and uh, I was telling you all before we started, I, I have young children and that's all I could think of is like these kids are. It know, was, it was, a, it was a horror. 